Okay, so Mike, here's um, the solution to running QLab and Mini Console. Mini Console. Um, you, what I did was I to find these instructions. I Googled QLab Mini and Mini Stage Console, and it came up. Uh, the this is from the website that you get the Mini Stage Console. If you type in this address, um, DMX slash QLab underscore Mini Stage Console dot HTML. There's a uh, like a tutorial file that will tell you how to do each of these steps. But I'm going to show you how to do these steps. So we'll just get this thing out of our way. And uh, so what you want to do is you want to start up Mini Stage Console. Okay, so you bring that up. You go to Edit, go to Configure MIDI. All right, and it brings up. This little window here. Uh, input and output doesn't matter right now. Don't worry about anything that's on the list. Just make sure that enable MIDI is uh, checked. And we'll come back to that later. So once that is checked, then you go ahead and you bring up QLab. So QLab comes up. And what you want to do is you want to go to the QLab preferences. I'm assuming you're using QLab version 1. Um, if you're using a, a Power PC Mac, then you can't use Q, QLab 2. Um, but it's kind of the same principle. So you go to Preferences, and in QLab 2, it's actually called Application Preferences. So you click on that, and it'll bring up this menu. So you go down here to, uh, on this list, you go down to MIDI. Click on MIDI. And you should have uh, a list of uh, MIDI drivers that this will accept. So you just, if it's not already connected, just click on. So like if it's not connected, you just click on patch one. Go down to stage console, mini console. Oops, didn't connect. Hold on. So you connect that, and then you exit out of there. And so then. You're uh, set up in QLab to transmit MIDI from QLab to MIDI Stage Console. So now what we want to do is we want to create a MIDI queue. So we'll go to queue, go down to MIDI. And we now have a queue. So then what you do is you bring up your inspector by hitting Command I. And it'll bring this menu up. And so we want to go to, uh, so what will happen when you hit Command I, so you go down and hit Command I, and it brings up the inspector, and it will be on Info, go to Settings, and then it shows the output patch should say Stage Console, Mini Console, and you just leave it Note On, go to Channel, uh, it could be whatever. Uh, I'm gonna make it kind of extreme. So my, so we'll just go. Let's just say uh, eight, and we'll go over here and we'll go eight, and we'll do eight. I didn't do it. Um, and what this is gonna do is this is gonna allow us to. Uh, send a signal. So if you look over here, down here we're on mini stage console uh, where it says MIDI. When you hit the go button, QLab's going to send a MIDI signal. And it just changed. It says 970808. So what we'll do is we'll go back to mini stage console, go to configure MIDI from the edit menu. And you go down here and uh, this number right here is different than the one we just received. That's the last thing that we just received. And so you just go in here to Q to go, click on it, double click on it so that it's highlighted, and then just paste the MIDI string. And it will take the first two sets of numbers and put it in there. You hit OK. And then what you want to do is you want to set up your cues in um, mini stage console. So right now I have 
four different cues. Um, we got, it's hard to see it right now, but we got four cues in there. I just labeled them start, next, other, out. And they have fade times on them, and that shows you the different uh, settings that they're all at. And then I also have, if you go to in Mini Stage Console, if you want to see this actually happening without having it hooked up, if you go to uh, Views and you hit the DMX window, it'll bring up this little extra little window that will show you what is happening with your DMX signal coming from the Mini Stage Console. So now when we go over here and we highlight the MIDI cue, then when we hit go, we should see something happening. And there we go. Now what this then allows you to do is once you have that cue set up over here in QLab, you just copy it by hitting Command C. And then you can just paste it wherever you want to in the thing by hitting Command V. And you can just create a bunch of copies and put that put those that copied MIDI cue anywhere in your cue list and so now uh, depending on what will happen is when you hit the go button every time you hit a MIDI cue it will fire a cue here in mini stage console and even though we only have four cues I have eight cues I can just go ahead and hit the go button and I'll just keep cycling through that until I run out of cues in QLab. So um, doesn't matter what it is, it'll just keep cycling through. And then when I run out of MIDI cues in QLab, which now I'm out. So now I've I've run out of cues in QLab, and so when I hit the go button, it doesn't do anything. So if you want to, uh, if you don't have a whole lot of light cues, then you just put the same number of MIDI cues, and you'll be fine. There should, there is a way to do a specific cue number, but uh, it's it's not really important, and doesn't really, you don't really need that. Once you hit, once you have your your cue set up in here, then once you hit go, then that's where the magic happens. Now I don't know if you know this, this is kind of a, an extra little thing on uh, Mini Stage Console, but if you go to Mini Stage Console and you go to, um, where is it at? I think you go to the Edit menu and Patch. You could actually patch more than uh, one number, one more than one channel in the stage console. So you can it's it's automatically set up to be one to one. So you could do it one to one or you could actually go in and repatch and if you wanted multiple lights to be on one channel, you could go like say you want the uh, 25 and then you do a comma and then you can do 26 and then you do a comma. 27 and then do a comma 28 and all of those DMX channels will uh, will come up when you bring up that that channel so they'll all be at the same level but I mean that might work for patching all of your psych lights into one channel and say so maybe you have like a red green and and blue channel so that way you're not having to run out of space on stuff and you can do all of your your down lights with on one channel or, or whatever so but yeah, so that's how you do run Mini Stage Console with QLab and uh, also do some patching. So if you have any questions, Mike, let me know. Bye-bye.